That's coach crazy. Ben Chopapon, head coach of LaGuardia Community College. Where are you from? Elmhurst, Queens. How do you get into basketball? Um, growing up in Elmhurst, everybody played basketball. Um, I love Michael Jordan, still my role model and idol now. And um, ever since watching basketball, watching Michael Jordan play, I just fell in love with the game. How was? How did this role take you to the a coach at LaGuardia Community College? When I was actually coming out of high school, I wanted to come to LaGuardia because it was the closest to my house as a community college, but they didn't have a basketball team. So I went to Queensboro Community College and played there. I was a captain. Um, and after I played in college, I graduated, went back to my old high school where I played at Forest Hills High School where I'm a phys ed teacher now. And LaGuardia student body decided they wanted to have a team finally here at LaGuardia. And um, I, was, I put in my application. You know, there was a hundred applicants. I came here, introduced myself in my suit, you know, and I met a guy by the name Chris Singh. He was an associate uh, athletic director back then. And he showed me the facilities and we hit it off. I got an interview. I knocked the interview out of the park and I beat out a hundred people to get this head coaching job that I love doing. And one of the challenges was at a community college is um, where the academic part was a challenge for me in the beginning. The first year, um, we did okay academically. Last year, we had a catastrophic academic year, and I made it a point this year to have our best GPA, our best success rate academically this year. And, and, it, and it has jumped about 1.2 or maybe 0.8 of a GPA went up dramatically, dramatically. So did that, did that mean your success for a season? success to me, yes. Where guys are on pace to graduate, and, and high, we have five guys over 3.0 GPA. Um, that, that means a lot to me. Our whole academic, this is our best academic team we had. That was a challenge presented to me. If you present me with a challenge, I'm going to climb it with everything I got. And I felt like we did that at the time. It's been three seasons coaching for LaGuardia. Has it changed? Yes, yeah, definitely changed. This year we focused on student athletes that were recruited that had better academic track records in their high school or their previous, previous junior colleges. So bulk of our student athletes that we recruited had great academic passes. So that's pass. So that's why I feel that our academic success has to do with them coming from a strong foundation already and like success in high school academic. From coaching high school to college is this is you know, I'm coaching young men that are or some of them even grown men compared to high school where they were adolescents. You know, they were young high school kids, 17, 18, 16, they were going through a lot of things. College kids are just a little, a little more mature, you know, so dealing with talking to men instead of high school kids approaching them with the mindset of you're here first to be a student and then second to be an athlete. I felt like the first two years we had guys that came in here, you know, athlete first, student second. You have your, your coaching staff. They've been with you from? from since I started at Forest Hills 12 years ago. Um, Rasad, I coached for two years at Forest Hills High School. Well, my name is Rasad Thompson. I'm assistant coach here at LaGuardia. I used to play with Coach C at Forest Hills. He was my coach there. And uh, he brought me on the staff here, and I came with him to LaGuardia. I've been with him three years. And we just built it, man. We just built it. Well, what, what is your job here? And okay. what is your job here at LaGuardia? What do you want? I'm just one. I'm just one of the assistant coaches. Um, really, I one of the assistant coaches here on the staff. Okay. Really, um, the three coaches that's here with us. Tone C and Heck, they was my coaches. I'm basically here. I just cleaned up all the little things that they don't get a chance to get to. Because they do such a good job. You feel me? Anything, <laughs> anything else? Anything else left on the table? I just make sure. All the edges is, keep, is, is cleaned up, you know what I'm saying? I so you say your job goes unnoticed? Unnoticed. <laughs> not unnoticed, not unnoticed. Just, 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 just not as publicized. Just not as publicized, that's all. All right, how, how's it been? It's been since the beginning. How, how you seen the program grow? Oh, from day one? Yeah. We grew a lot. This is the third year. Every year we make it um, leaps and bounds, academically and on the court.
Alright. All right. That's good. So far, so good. You know what I'm saying? How's the season going? So far, we good. We are uh, top of second in the conference, 30, 30 in the region, with no returning players. So, so far, so good. Alright, cool. Best of luck to you this season, right? Cool. Coach Nunez, I was with him in college at Cortland. Then he came on my staff at Forest Hills, Coach Doolin. I've known uh, for like 20 years. Yeah, I played with him on JV, played with him on varsity at Forest Hills. We coached together at Forest Hills. We coached together here at LaGuardia. Who's Coach Doolin? Well, so what do you do for LaGuardia? I'm the associate head coach. And, well, and what is your duties? Uh, just basically just we all hands on deck trying to get us a national championship. That's about it. Are you ready for Florida? Of course, can't wait to get down to the Sunshine State and get a couple of wins. Um, for you, this is your third year here. Right. The program has been three years. Right. How have you seen it grow? It's grown a lot. You know, it's definitely an interesting process putting you know, starting the program from the ground up. But we're learning on the fly as far as how to build a, build, build a, a great culture as far as academically on the court. And I feel like we're doing a great job. Uh, Coach C, he does that every practice. He starts to practice over the quote. I'm not sure where he pulled it from, but uh, he just asked me to uh, speak on it. That's all. Well, what's really the difference between a 3.8 GPA, 3.8, and a 3.0? Because you always seem to be pushing. You want them to do good, but right, it's, like, just, it's just you know that level of commitment. You know what I mean? That level of commitment. If you push yourself and you expect the highest from yourself, you expect the best, then you'll achieve that. A lot of time to relax. Mm -hmm. We got a couple of weeks off out of school, but it's because we did enough just to stay eligible. Just staying eligible wasn't enough. The guys that did what they had to do. Right? We should be pushing ourselves to have 3.8s, right? 3.65s. We shouldn't be just going for the bare minimum. But now that the season, at, once the season is over, we still got school dudes on taking it seriously. Right? That shouldn't happen. Our grades should actually get better once the season is starting to wrap up because you don't have as much time to dedicate to this. All right, so let's not be, be comfortable with the grades that we have. All right, the guys that did a great job, let's try and do even better. Yeah. How has this experience coaching LaGuardia benefit you? Benefited me? Well, it's definitely, you know, basketball is my passion, it's my love. So, in order, so being in a, in a position to help other guys learn the game and become better players, eventually move on to four-year schools, has definitely been very gratifying. What's your background in basketball? I uh, played high school, college basketball at Delaware State University. I've uh, been coaching for, what, I don't know, man. It's been a lot of years now. First of all, since high school, uh, just a girls coach at IK High School. All right, well, thanks a lot, coach. Best of luck to you this season. You brought your Red Hawks. What makes you guys such a great team? I think uh, I have a staff that all wants the same goal. Kids to get better and graduate and achieve the highest goal at any level we're at. You know, this is Duke to us. Wherever we are, it's Duke. It's You hold know, Duke as a, like the uh, pedestal? Yeah, we, you know, I'm, I'm not because they won a national championship last year. Okay. So wherever we are, you know, Duke has the mystique of, of basketball, you know, legacy and tradition. So wherever we are, LaGuardia is Duke to us right here. So we're building our own Duke. We're bringing LaGuardia. So we want to be that bookmark that says, the best school in CUNY, that two-year school is LaGuardia. Like you, LaGuardia is where you need to go. How bad do you want a national championship? Uh, man, it's uh, you know we, we, everybody wants a national championship. You know you want to win the highest level wherever you coach and you play. So you know I know it's a process. We got to get CUNY first and then the region, but one step at a time.